So ideally, it would hide the the model from the view yeah. controller instead of saying view model dot cat dot name. Usually, you don't want to depend on the dependencies of your dependency. <laughs> Does it make sense? The view controller now depends not just on the view model but on the cat method. So there is like two levels again of indirection. Like, hey view model, give me your cat, so I can get the name of the cat. Usually, you want to hide this. For example. You make this private and you provide something like an accessor like this. Yeah. And that's because the view controller needs the name, right? It's not, it has nothing to do about the cat, right? That the cat has this property, for example. It's like the view controller, the detailed view controller needs that. So you, gi you give it exactly what it needs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, then. Uh... We just send the detail view controller that uh, the things that it need and nothing else. Okay. Yeah. And maybe here you want to transform this data. In, you know, maybe you want to say capitalize, and then you can add all, all presentation logic that makes sense to the user interface. You put here in the view model. Okay. Got right. it. You want to capitalize it. You want to lowercase it, or you may have here uh, the UI needs a URL. But the model exposes the cat image as a string, for example, because that's how the API defined it, something like this. You say here, image URL. And here you can perform, perform the transformations, like you want a URL, so it's cat guard cat dot image dot That URL string equals this, and or we can do maybe in one pass. I don't know. Yeah. Let URL equals URL with string URL string. Else return nil. Then you return URL. Then you can test this in isolation, right? You can just instantiate. Right? Cat detail view model, pass a cat into it with whatever data, and check that if I have a URL, it returns the URL. 